Dogecoin, my friends, is going to the moon. If you buy Dogecoin, then feel free to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Dogecoin is being valued at $49.8 billion, which means it is valued higher than American multinational automaker Ford Motor Company and social media giant Twitter. The altcoin currently sits at rank hash 255 on the asset dash rankings, biting at the heels of the hash 254 ranked Newmont Corporation. Newmont is the biggest gold mining company in the world and has a market cap of just over $1.50 billion. Dogecoin being valued higher than a traditional commodity-based company like Ford, or just lower than one like Newmont Corporation, continues the long-standing paradox that faces traditional investors with cryptocurrencies holding no physical value. The market cap is a noteworthy success considering it was only released seven years ago on X6, 2013. While Twitter and Ford were established in 2006 and 1903 respectively, Dogecoin's growth accelerated in 2021 after the likes of Elon Musk and renowned businessman Mark Cuban put their weight behind the coin on social media. The recent strength of Dogecoin could be linked to Musk's upcoming performance, hosting Saturday Night Live this upcoming weekend, May 8. The Tesla founder has a famous interest in the coin, and has even been described as the Doge father. Saturday Night Live will provide a massive platform for Musk and viewers, who could be expecting a boom in value for the coin if mentioned by Musk in one of his performances on the show. Musk turned to Twitter for skit ideas. One fan asked if he will be incorporating his title, and the Doge father responded definitely. Some traders believe that the exposure could lead to Dogecoin picking up even more momentum. Also guys, Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban believes Dogecoin has the potential to become a useful currency if more companies adopt the meme cryptocurrency for their products and services. Cuban, a big advocate of Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies, said on Twitter that the Dogecoin may hold its purchasing value better than a dollar in the bank on increasing adoption by companies. If interest rates skyrocket or the amount spent falls or stagnates, so will Doge. Yes, a joke is now legit, Cuban tweeted. The Shark Tank fame investor noted that Dogecoin's annual inflation rate is set at 5 billion coins, which means for the cryptocurrency to continue gaining any significant value it needs to gain utility and users will need to use Doge for that utility. Cuban also believes Ethereum, smart contracts for decentralized finance are better at enabling depositing saving and trading of financial instruments than banks. Dogecoin is down 0.1% in the past 24 hours and is trading at $0.38 at press time. The Shiba Inu-themed cryptocurrency hit an all-time high of $0.4377 on April 16 and has run up 7,949.40% since the year began. Dogecoin saw a solid bounce in the past week. Although the meme currency is still trading off the record high of 43.77 cents hit on April 16. Meanwhile, Litecoin is trading at around $270 at press time, off the all time high of $360.66. Doge, which was created as a joke currency in 2013, has come a long way from its early days. Notably, the meme currency has gained over 7,500% in the year to date period. Celebrities such as Tesla Inc. Elon Musk and rapper Snoop Dogg have put their weight behind it. Retail interest could also lend support, and Doge could attempt to push past its earlier high. That said, the long-term investment worthiness is very much in question, given its unlimited supply. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your awesome support. It's time for the morning buzz. First up, the world's first Dogecoin billionaire. One lucky investor share in Doge, now valued at over $11 billion. The surge coming after Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeting this week, calling himself the Doge father ahead of his hosting Saturday Night Live next weekend. Tom, the identity of the new billionaire is unknown, but some rumors are that it could be Musk himself. <laughs> It could be. We don't know. And he certainly played a big part uh, of Dogecoin's rise over the past few months. In fact, my, my oldest son was on Robinhood back when it was, you know, less than a penny or something. And there were all these rumors about Dogecoin. And Elon Musk was the one who started driving the price up. So um, I, we may never find out who the uh, who the Dogecoin billionaire is, but um, it could be Elon Musk. What do you think of Dogecoin, James? Well, I don't know. How many retailers in your... Of course. We also heard from Elon Musk. He is promoting his upcoming hosting gig on SNL with a tweet, The Doge Father. All of this sending Dogecoin. What else? 
soaring today. It is now at more than 6,000 percent this year, but still off its all-time highs. We should note that Mark Cuban said that he thinks that this is a way for people to learn about cryptocurrencies, to learn how the markets move and, and how to invest. Um, he says it's slightly better than a lottery ticket, so it's not exactly pounding the table here. Um, but at the same time, there are a lot of people who see these celebrities talking about Dogecoin, Jeff, and they want to buy it. I mean, call it the, the influencer effect on, on investing today. But this is what is going on. Yeah, it is. I mean, is it Dogecoin? Is it Dogecoin? I don't even like saying it, and people can't even seem to agree on how to say it. So <laughs> I don't know what that says for the legitimacy of it. But I've heard a couple of people say this today, and it is actually interesting in that it somewhat increases the legitimacy of other crypto assets. So think about Bitcoin, Ethereum. It also makes them seem like the sleepy, kind of stable areas of crypto. So I thought that was an interesting take. But look, in my view, in, in a lot of ways with these assets, whether it's GameStop, Dogecoin, it's, it's worse than what you saw in the tech bubble because at least then people were trying to justify the future with cash flow projections and other things, even if they were wrong. And I sent out a note to our advisors this week and I said, look, this is an exercise in helping our clients fight FOMO. It's really hard to watch a lot of people seemingly make a lot of money by not doing very much. Um, but if, if you can withstand kind of standing on the sidelines, that's what you should be doing. If you can't, play with a little bit of money, but really try not to get sucked in too hard because if you do, uh, it, it might be difficult to get out and you may end up losing a lot of money. Yeah. Um, Karen, uh, Mark Cuban makes a good point in that, you know, Doge, Doge may not technically be a currency, but he is basically legitimizing it by accepting it at the Maverick shop and, <laughs> and enabling people to use the, the Dogecoin or Dogecoin, as he says, um, to buy paraphernalia. I, okay, I accept that, that that's real. Okay, I, I, I don't know that I accept that really happens. I mean, he's a great investor. That doesn't make Dogecoin a great investment at all. It's like, you know, if you go to a carnival, let's say you went to the, the Greater Fool Carnival and they pass out script, you know, those little cardboard little tickets, except they just made unlimited amounts of them. So you can imagine that that might hurt the ultimate value of them. And it, it does nothing. You can't use it for anything. It's not a store of value, but apparently you can give those scripts, I guess, to get some Maverick swag. Maybe Ellen DeGeneres, you'll get some Ellen swag as well. It's, it's insane to me. It's absolutely insane. I get, you have to know, you have to know the likelihood of your losing money is so high. If you just want to do it for fun, think of it as only fun. Tickets to a carnival, maybe you'll win a stupid little stuffed animal. Great, good. Other than that, I mean, it's insane. Whenever the chairwoman starts a story off with, let's say you have a carnival of greater fools, you know it's going to be a really, really, really good metaphor. <laughs>